So guys, it's talk time. Talk times are usually pretty good. This time is no exception. It's really good. You're going to like it. So, talk time today. Um, I'm looking at intent, increasing the intensity of my output. So how would I increase the intensity of my output? I've been kind of, hmm, you know, the gears are spinning. What's the best way to go about it? And uh, I did come up with the best way, in my opinion. I haven't tried it yet, but knowing how things work, my best educated guess is it should work fabulous. So we're going to raise the voltage. Okay. All right. Well, that's obvious. Raise the voltage. We've got lots of amps. We're going to get the bulbs brighter. And I did achieve this by using multiple coils. I'm up to seven coils in my stack. I think I can remove two of the original style coils and insert two more coils that will give me a much better result we will see i'm going to try it with one first and then i'm going to try it with two so i'll show you the coil i have one built here right beside me you can see that beautiful little coil it's just beautiful turned out really really well so it's a monopolar uh or a mono filler Tesla pancake coil. So that coil, uh, we will try it with one, but it'll likely get paired as a resonator. And here's the really awesome part. This is the most genius part of the whole device. These coils, because they are um, higher voltage, you can see the turning ratio. I have it's a single wire, and it's twice as long as the original half pancakes for, for wire length. This is now uh, 10 meters. That coil is 10 meters. And uh, it's a finer gauge. It's 16 gauge, where I've been using 14 gauge. So that means I get more turns, uh, more revolutions per coil uh, in the spiral. So that'll give me a higher voltage. This is a transformer ratio. And I'm going to make a pair of those and wire them together like the resonator, except this is the low voltage end. So I'll put the pair clockwise, counterclockwise, stacked. And here's the awesome part. It goes underneath of the output resonator. This is the input resonator. So it goes underneath of the output resonator on the very bottom of the stack so that it gets the low voltage induction in the resonator at the excessive or the strongest point of the coil. And then it goes to the outside of the coil after the resonator and goes through the entire stack and compounds the already raised voltage with the amperage resonator for the output. And, uh, I think this will give me the boost to give me my bulbs to 100% full brightness. And if that's the case, there it is. Uh, it's been a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of work to build one of these devices. It's probably about a 10 hour ordeal, maybe, maybe 12 hours start to finish. And probably about $150 to $200 worth of wire and uh, quite a pile of labor. But not only the labor to build them, all the time I've spent working out all the details to get the results that are required. So if I can achieve 6,500 watts at full brightness from either setting number three or setting number four, I will call that a finished accomplishment and the device finished with an output of 6,500 watts for a measured input of anywhere between 1,500 watts currently down to as low as, say, 500 watts or 300 watts if it's attainable. So I'm going to work at that tonight. Uh, I've shared all the details about it except that one hidden 
induction cooker mod internal that allows um, enhanced output to be seen. And I will keep that the only secret in the device. And to learn that secret, you must buy a device from me and take the damn thing apart. And when you discover the secret, I ask that you don't share it. You have a great day. Ciao.